Here's the truth about crypto right now. The truth about crypto right now is that we could be sitting on the precipice of the hugest, most massive bull run of all time, right? We have Joe Biden dropping out of the election. We have Trump going in a pro crypto president with a pro crypto JD Vance by his side. It really could get insane. And all I can say is there is no other industry or no other market that's gonna give you these type of returns that people are going to make in the next few years. Now you don't just get into crypto and get rich right away. It doesn't work like that. This shit takes effort. There is a payment for everything that you want to gain in life. And the payment for crypto riches is you studying every day, you getting involved, you building a business within the crypto space or starting to talk about it, build something, right? There's a payment. And if you haven't paid, you're not gonna win. So think about it for a second. What have you paid with? How do you even think that you deserve crypto gains, right? Have you put any time into researching? Are you in the communities? Have you joined the Gold Squad Discord, link in bio, right? Where we're discussing 24 seven crypto strategies, tips, tricks, market news, etc. Do you, do you even have the tools? Have you equipped yourself, right? Have you made time apart from your nine to five job to even go deeper and study even more? No, it's not like it's just gonna happen for everyone. It still takes work. The point is you're gonna be able to capitalize on this crazy bull run. And the other number one tip here is to secure your profits into stable assets because you could wake up one day and your entire crypto portfolio is wiped, right? This market is very volatile. I'm buying Solana, you're buying HBAR. I'm buying Arweave, you're buying XRP. I'm buying Toncoin and you're buying Cardano. We are not the same. I wanted to show you guys this post right here from RAN because this poses an interesting question. Are these coins outdated and done with? Should we stop buying HBAR, XRP, Quant, Algorand, XDC, XLM, all of the coins that we've thought are going to go to the moon, should we stop buying them? The short answer from me is absolutely not. These are some of the best digital assets to stack up in your long-term portfolio, keyword, long-term portfolio. These are some of the best. All of the ISO coins, HBAR, Algorand, XLM, etc. But those are not gonna make you rich in a year. They might not even make you money in a year, which sucks, any gains at all. Personally, I've stopped cold turkey entirely buying any of these digital assets. I've stopped it all. I'm locked in, I'm sitting on my bags, the current amount, they're not increasing and I'm not selling. I'm simply waiting and I'm building a more diversified portfolio into things like Soul, Arweave, and TongueCoin. The reason I keep drilling this home for you guys is because I don't want you to miss the real bull market while you try and sit in utility coins. A lot of us are already missing the real bull market just because we think we need to sit in utility coins and we can't buy anything other than XRP and HBAR. I'm really trying to break down that programming because that's something that I was programmed with. I programmed myself with it and it was in my content and I'm, I'm done with that, right? My long-term bags are stacked, I'm bullish, I pay attention to all of the updates on HBAR, XRP, Quant, all of that. But this is bigger than that, folks. The, the stuff that's going on, the hype in the meme coins we recently had, the hype around some like Solana and some of these other projects is getting crazy and you need to pay attention to it. So be careful, make sure you're diversified properly and let me know, are you still stacking your bags of the ISO coins? And what's up, are, are you done stacking them? Are you still stacking them? Did you never even stack them in the first place? Here are three things that every successful crypto investor does every single day. All three of these things I do every single day and that is why I am 24 years old and will never, ever have to work a job ever again because of crypto. And that happened when I was 21 actually. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to the daily routine to become a successful crypto investor slash trader 
slash founder. Now, we'll start off obvious with number one, but as we get to number three, it will be a little bit more advanced. Number one is check the freaking market. Go to the market and sort the top 100 coins by the biggest loser. I don't really care what the biggest gainer is of the day because those gains have already been missed out on, unless I was in the coin. Look at the biggest loser. Some of the easiest money I've ever made in crypto is simply looking what coin is down 20% or 10%, picking some of that up and waiting for that 20% to come back because in crypto, it inevitably does come back. So the first thing is look at the market, look at the sectors of the market, find out which ones are up, which ones are down, and which ones you need to rotate your money into with your active trading capital. I'm not talking about your long-term bags. I'm talking about the money that you're using to try and actually make money in crypto. The next one is you have to spend hours on Twitter. Okay, Twitter is my most used social media app by far. Make sure you guys follow me at Mason for Sluice. Also follow at MegBZK and all of our awesome crypto businesses. The reason we scroll Twitter on a daily basis is because I have made, dude, countless plays off of Twitter, 10X, 15X, all the way up to a literal 400X that was brought to me just by scrolling my Twitter feed and developing what I call the bullshit filter. So the more your filter increases on what you know is bullshit and what you know is real, the better. You start to follow certain people. The reason I follow the most amount of people out of any social media on Twitter is because there is so much value on that platform. So yes, one of the things successful crypto investors do on a daily basis is scroll Twitter. You cannot be in the loop on crypto if you're not on Twitter. And the next one is get inside of the Discord groups and the Telegram groups. Now, obviously, I hang out in our Gold Squad Discord, 30,000 plus members. You can join for free, link in bio. Also, the Telegrams, I hang out in the Crypto Mason Telegram and the MegBZK Telegram. Obviously, the best info is in the VIP sections, but there's no need to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it. We have amazing talks in the general chat all the time. Now, the reason successful crypto investors do this is because this is actually where the real alpha is. This is where it hits first before Twitter. There are levels to the game and Telegram and Discord are where you're gonna find the alpha first and then it's gonna get shilled on Twitter and all the other social medias. So this is key. These are three key things that you need to do. And you know, it doesn't have to be my group. It doesn't have to be my Twitter, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to, you know, it doesn't matter who it is. Just develop your bullshit filter so you know what's real and what's not.